Uh, the class that I chose to use the videos and the technology in is it's called Plant Sciences 380. It's, it's landscape graphics. Um, and I've been teaching the course for quite a while. Uh, and I found myself early on having students come up in the front row and gather around this table just to kind of see me draw and watch it because the, the, the classes were fairly large at the time. And I was kind of half joked to them saying, if I only had one of those mirrors above me like the, the cooking shows, then I, you know, we could do this all at one time. Uh, and I went to a, a seminar on, on graphics that a fellow by the name of Mike Lynn taught at the University of Kansas. Uh, and he had this beautiful setup with the tripod and the, and the video camera. And, and uh, I went to that thing for, it was a two week session uh, in Kansas, two weeks in Kansas. Um, and I saw that, that setup and I said, I can do this. And it really, really worked well. So the way we use technology, the way we use videos in that class, and, and uh, it, it, it's kind of at, at times intimidating when you see it because it's this kind of apparatus with a tripod and so on. Uh, it's all strung up, but we've got the videos in there. And, and uh, I just wind up taping what I'm drawing. And I've got it set up so I've got a, uh, the screen behind me so, I can, so the students can see that. And then I've got a TV in the back of the room, a monitor. So I don't have to keep turning my back to them and always kind of seeing if I'm on or off or zoom in or zoom out or whatever. But the thing I've found that's really helped me by using the videos in the class is I'm able to teach so much more now and be so, so much more efficient because I don't have to stop and wait and bring another group up and say, okay, you guys go back to your seat, next group come up and we'll just do it all over again. So the videos and the podcasts have really worked well. And the students, of course, this day and age, you know, anything that's got the name iTunes in it, uh, they just gravitate to that and they think they've, they've got this illusion that I'm, I'm kind of up to speed, technologically speaking, which is kind of a rumor. <laughs> the way that uh, ITC is helping me on this is I will uh, just use a, a, a fairly non-advanced camera with a, with a small tape in that, uh, and I will tape through the session, through my drawing session, or whatever the title is, perspectives or sections or elevations or color rendering or drawing trees or drawing people or whatever that is. Uh, and then I will send that to ITC, send the tape to ITC, and somehow magically they push a button and they do something and, and it becomes a podcast. It becomes something that the, that the students can ac access through iTunes. Um, I've gone on to the web to kind of find that and look at that and, and it's, uh, it's kind of interesting, you know, because you have to kind of watch what you're saying at times. Um, so I don't know the, the technical aspects of how it goes from this little disc onto the computer or onto, onto iTunes, but I know it does occur and I am forever grateful for that. I've seen the definite benefits by using this technology in the class in that, again, it, it helps me to cover more ground. Uh, and if a student's out, if for some reason, I'm usually a little bit of a stickler for attendance, but, but a reason comes up that a student can't make a class, I can easily say, go to the web, go to iTunes and find it. And, and I expect you to have watched that and come in here on Thursday knowing that we did what we talked about last week. So it's, it's been, the benefits have, have been beyond, you know, what I, whenever I expected. Um, some of the, the challenges, I guess, that we faced or I faced, uh, I um, tend to roam around a little bit when I teach. Uh, so I have to make sure my, my leash is long enough, you know, so I can, I can do that. Uh, and we had some, a couple little technological glitches, you know, to start with, 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 uh, uh, with sound or, or with video quality. Uh, or whatever, but uh, those those I've got over those pretty quickly. And I guess if there's one more that one more um, challenge that I had to face or, or overcome uh, was was learning when to stop talking because they want the segments to be in, in kind of smaller chunks, you know, so they can edit and clip and snip and do what they have to do. Uh, I have a tendency just to, uh, kind of like Kenny G can play an instrument with exhaling and inhaling, I kind of talk the same way. There's not a lot of pausing, so sometimes I would find myself going on, you know, uh, a little bit too long and say, well, I've got a, a pretty big chunk there, they're going to have to go through and kind of edit that and clip it down to where it's manageable size. So, but that's about it, you know, as far as, as, far as the challenges go, it's not that, uh, hasn't been that difficult. And now that I've got all these things kind of in the can, I don't have to worry about so much being on, on cue and, you know, the pressure to kind of perform. And uh, it's, it, it, it is, it is uh, no matter how long I've been doing this, it has been, uh, every semester I go through it, there is a little bit of pressure because you've got 20 or 15 students watching every 
pencil stroke that you put down, every color, and if something's not perfect, you just roll with it like it's all meant to be. And in addition to helping with this class, uh, they've helped me with uh, putting websites together for a study abroad trip, uh, assembling a DVD from footage that, that we use during study abroad. Um, so many, they're, they're so varied, there's so many different facets you know, that, that they can help us with. I haven't, I've just begun to tap into that, so I'm not really sure what the next step is going to bring, but I'm sure that uh, when I call them, they'll be there for me, and that's pretty comforting. You know, considering what we're doing, you know, five or ten years ago, this is, this is still okay. So, but I always find myself kind of like, you know, you know how it is with technology, you think you're kind of like, oh, hey, I'm almost in the 21st century now, and then you go to sleep and you wake back up and it's like, I am so far behind. Uh, and you have to kind of scramble. So, you know, the teacher that today we have to be like not only know your material and be able to, I don't, I don't want to say entertain the students, but educate them and keep them awake and interested at all the same time. But you have to kind of, you know, see what new technologies are out there to be able to bring into the classroom and, and, and uh, you know, stay up to speed with the, with the brains that are coming through your door. I, I, don't, I don't know if I have tips for faculty uh, other than, than uh, be aware and, and always be on the search for what's out there that can help you in the classroom deliver your information. Um, it's, it's, you know, like I said, it's, it's one of those things where things move so quickly that uh, if, if you kind of dawdle or, or, or think that you get complacent, um, you're going to wind up behind before, before you know it. And students pick up on that. They know very, very quickly. Uh, it, it took me a little while to get everything up on Blackboard. And uh, after I, I knew one day when some student said, what? You don't have it on Blackboard? I go, okay, I need to, I need to do that really, really soon. So, you know. But as far as tips go, I'd, I would just, uh, you know, don't, don't, you hate to say stay, think inside the box, you know, but, you know, Look, look for some things that may be totally unrelated, you know, that might be able to help you in the classroom, you know, however simple they may appear, they may be uh, the one little tool that helps you kind of get above, the, above the, the average teacher and help you uh, advance even further.